Hey, welcome back to Aaron Reacts, and I'm super excited to be doing another Lucy Thomas, but this is the first time I'm doing her live. I got several comments about seeing her live in Manchester, um, and so this is March of 2024, and specifically, this is At Last. Now, um, there's something special about this song, At Last. Well, there's many things special, but, you know, um, it is one of those iconic iconic songs it was actually inducted into the grammy hall of fame in 1999 and it's been performed by so many people now eddie james the original you know singer that went famous for this is ultimately um influenced by many folks and also influenced many many big artists i actually go through these in depth and I did a little mini series of At Last um, for Angelina Jordan. And so I'm going to go ahead and link to that here. You can you can check that video out and I'll put it in the description of this video. And by the way, always I have original videos and additional information in the descriptions of my videos. And so, yeah, let's. I'm not going to go through all of that here now. Uh, but this is At Last, Lucy Thomas. Um, yeah, let's, let's jump in. And also I'll add that this is the official Manchester concert video. So I think we're going to get quality audio and everything. In clover The night Looked at you Ooh. I found a dream That I could speak to mm. A dream that I A thrill that I have never known. Yeah. Oh, you smile, you smile. Oh, the grit. when then the spell was cast. And here we are in heaven. She doesn't just build up and have this beautifully sustained, perfect pitch, perfect vibrato at the peak of that. But then she ends it, my, the little fall off that actually has an a, uh, ascending slur, right? Um, a little slide up at the, to fall off of that. Um, there's so much she's doing throughout this, but you know what? 
just kills me is is just that sound is so pure it's so crisp uh clean but when she needs to she adds a little bit of grit and i actually commented on it and then i stopped myself like wait i need to listen um is she had a real strong almost growl and just immediate released into this just beautiful tone instantly and I said it before with her, and I'm absolutely going to say it again. She absolutely has one of the best vibratos I've ever heard. Maybe even the best. I mean, her control of that vibrato, I think Dimash has, has incredible control as well. Um, but, you know, it is just absurd. Um, in the later years of Angelina Jordan, we're getting more control where she had much more experimenting, uh, experimenting um, in the early years of, you know, the early jazz influences and so forth. But... You know, this is kind of almost the next level. Um, it is it is kind of absurd. Um, wow. Wow. And you know what I love the most about this performance is that she didn't really change up the original. Um, I don't even think at all. Other than just, you know, minor inflections of, you know, her phrasing and, and uh, you know, certain aspects of a little melisma here and there type of thing. But um, for the most part, it was the same song, same feeling. We even heard the strings coming in at the beginning and so forth. Um, I think it was pretty much the same tempo. We had roughly the same, uh, I think it might have even been identical chord progressions. So, um, yeah, you know, she, it was just her voice. Fantastic. I mean, she's phenomenal. Uh, I think this is the fourth one of her I've done, and I've been nothing but blown away each and every time. Uh, I mean, really. Um, so yeah, if you haven't yet done so, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Um, we will see you in the next one. Thank you.